I know I have a few precious moments to get your attention. Endure with me. I know my voice is hoarse and my speech is slow as I deal with multiple concussions from years of playing football. But please endure with me as my brain latches on to my thoughts as I contemplate suicide. Tired of talking to myself and living in pain. On a cold January day, I did the unthinkable. I recorded the events on that unforgettable day so that my story may never be forgotten. I present the raw video to you with very little editing with hopes that it will help someone understand my struggles.
yeah, baby. You know it's time. That's right, it's time. Time to make it happen. Don't worry. Don't worry about these haters. Just remember this. Don't you let them haters. 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 Yeah. They gon' hate no matter what you do. But don't you stop your flow. Don't you quit your pursuit. Continue on and be strong. And don't you let them hate to stop you. It was fourth and goal on the Wildcats' five-yard line. They were up by four points. Had they just kicked a field goal, they would have been up by seven. But instead, they elected to go for a score to be up by ten or eleven. Imagine that. A head coach that would rather have two birds in a bush than one bird in his hand. I am sure assistant coaches, even players for that matter, silently yell, Coach, don't be an idiot, you idiot. Let's go for that bird in our hand. Well, that's the way the Wildcats head coach was. He was a legendary coach that marched to the beat of his own drum. Except on that night, his beat turned out to be my drum. Scatter four on Omaha, bunch, bunch, right, zip, flat, right, 273, pivot, F. This was the Wildcats play call for that fourth and goal. That call. I remember well. Many things I have forgotten, but not that call. I remember it well. I anticipated that call because by the end of that game, most games for that matter, I was able to predict offenses' actions. Now for me, I'm on defense getting ready to stunt. This is what you want. This is what you want, isn't it? Oh. 
I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you what you want. I was smarter than most, quicker than most, stronger than most, and more determined than most. More determined. More determined than most. That was the quality that really set me apart. That's how I became known as the pass rusher. This is not supposed to be an angry, sad moment. <laughs> this is supposed to be a happy moment. This is supposed to be a happy moment. I'm going to give you what you've been asking for. They say you're not supposed to mix this with this. That's what they say. Well, let's just find out what happens when you mix them both. You're not supposed to chew, chew these pills. So you're not supposed to chew those pills, but they're more effective when you chew them. Mm. I'm going to make you watch this. Hopefully I got your attention, but I'm going to make you watch this. Do you know what this pain feel like?
You gonna wash me? And you gonna help me in this pain? So come in. It's gonna be all right. I want you to analyze my brain. I want you to make that determination that has been made in so many other players. This pain. Still rolling. <laughs> this is not supposed to be a sad moment. This is not supposed to be a sad. This is supposed to be a happy moment. You want to watch me take away that pain, don't you? And not just another pass rusher. I attacked the quarterback with a determination like no other. True, I was quick. True, I was strong, but it was my ferocious determination that allowed me to stunt relentlessly on that fourth down. Shortly after the breath of that last play call, I sat and recovered the fumbled football. It all seemed to be one motion before running the ball 90 yards in the opposite direction for the winning score. If you have never seen a pass rusher run 95 yards in a game, essentially the length of the football field, it is a sight to be seen. <laughs> Many people saw that memorable moment as it happened in a saturated stadium. In fact, people see me many years removed from that day ask for an autograph, and just about always recall that moment of that game. What a moment. Ah, that moment. But I wonder how many, how many of those same people remember earlier in that same game, I had a vicious helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision with a 320-pound offensive line that left me on the turf agonizing in pain. I missed the next snap, but was sent right back in after that. I say I was sent back in, but I wanted to go back in too. I wonder how many people remember that. How many people remember that collision? I guess none. 
No one ever mentions that. In fact, no one ever mentions any of those violent collisions that I had. Maybe they are unnoticed. Maybe those collisions are not memorable. Maybe no one really cares because the game is what it is. Was I even supposed to go back in that game? By today's standard, no. I would have been subject to many mandatory concussion protocols. Was that brilliant fourth and goal play ever supposed to happen? Teams now have protocol that probably would have kept me from playing the rest of that game. I was dazed, confused, felt head pressure, and spoke slowly. All symptoms consistent with a concussion. But I was a pro bowler. I worked my whole life to get on a pro level, so a little confusion here and there was not going to stop me. You understand me? <laughs> Are you ready for this? I said, are you ready for this? I'm talking to you, suicide. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm not afraid of you. And I'm still talking to you. Why? Did you just ask me why? These concussions, that's why. Do you even know what a concussion is? Do you? Do you? I'm going to sit here and wait until you give me an answer. I'm waiting. This is serious business. The Centers for Disease Control states that a concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury caused by a bump blow or jolt to the head or by a hit to the body that causes the head and brain to move rapidly back and forth. This sudden movement can cause the brain to bounce around or twist in the skull, stretching and damaging the brain cells and creating chemical changes in the brain. Really? Really? Chemical changes? Football did not do this to me. Football has been nothing but good to me. Good to me. You hear me? 
everything I have has been contributed to the game of football. But what about this CTE discovery? What about this pain? What about this pain? some adjustments for you. I made some adjustments. I don't want you to miss. I don't want you to miss this. I want all my fans to see this. All those fans that was in those stands rooting and cheering for me. I want you to see this. I want you to see. I want you to watch me again. I want you to watch me. I want you to watch that great pass rusher again. I want you to watch me. I want you to feel this pain. thought about it, thought about texting the people that I love, the people that love me, all my good friends, they know, they know about these awful head pains, they know. How could they not know? How could they not know? How could you not know? Open my brain like this football and check my brain. That feels good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Oh. Tick tock. Tick 
tick tock. <laughs> oh, you know, I want to laugh. This is going to be my last laugh. I'm going to watch my favorite comedian and favorite comedy show. Yeah, yeah, you probably ain't heard of him. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn him on. I'm going to turn him on. I'm going to turn him on. You probably ain't heard of this to me. Just like you probably ain't heard of me. This is hilarious. <laughs> A comedy show.
feel no more pain. And I don't ever want to feel any more pain. Ever feel any more pain. This camera keeps shutting off, and so I gotta turn the camera back on. Cause you gonna see this. This camera ain't gonna shut off from this. You gonna see this. You watch my last comedy show that I'm gonna watch. You watch it with me. I feel no more pain. I feel no more pain. I feel I feel I feel free. But I, I feel strange. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. But I feel no more pain in my head. Am I supposed to be doing this? Am I supposed to be doing this? Can you reach out and let me know? Am I supposed to take my own life? I can feel the, I can feel the medicine taking over. I can feel it. Don't go nowhere. Stay with me. You're going to see this. I want you to see this.
Usman Fayz. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby calling me. I know you love me. I know you love me. But I can't take no more today. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever really been in love? If if I just if I decide not to take no more of these pills, love would be the reason why. That would be the only reason why. If I decide not to take any more of these pills. Love is not going to save me today. I want you to see. I want you to see the agony, the pain, the heartache. The game has come. I'm not blaming it on the game. The fact of the matter is that the game has been good to me. It has been really good to me. So, I'm not blaming it on the game. I, I just wish I had more info. If I had more info, would I have still played the game? Um, probably, I don't know. Hello? We watched my last comedy show. I want to eat my last meal. I'm going to eat my last meal. This will be my last meal. Yeah. <laughs> this medicine is... This medicine is good. <laughs> Whoever created this medicine, man, this medicine is good. I feel no pain. <laughs> and well, I am feeling some type of way. I'm not going to slow me down. Slow my, my thing.
Zori again. Oh, Zori, I love you. I do, but I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna answer that. Some time ago, you set out to embark on a great challenge. You set a goal for yourself, and now it's time to realize it. The path, the road, the journey has not been easy, but it is still time. It is time for you to complete your task. It is not the time to give up. It is time to see it through. This is your season to make it happen. At some point in every person's life, the journey gets tough. It gets hard. It gets difficult. During this time is when you get tougher and stronger. During this time, you persevere. During this time, you move forward. You do not quit during this time. This is the time for you to give it all you got. Do you hear me? It's time to give it all you got. No more excuses. No more quitting. No more lollygagging. It's time to get it done. It's time to give it all you got. And when you have persisted and you have stayed the course and you have done all you are capable of doing, then and only then will you be done. This is taking way too long. I need to, I need to take all of these pills. I need to drink all of this alcohol. This a road of no return. I take this pill. to keep my eyes open.
feel no more pain. I'm taking my life in my own hands. I don't want to be a burden on nobody. But am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to take my own life? You never answered that question. I asked you that question. Am I supposed to take my own life? What the what? What does the scripture say? What does the scripture say? What does the scripture? What does the scripture gotta do with this? What does the scripture say? You still with me? You still with me? You still with me? Yes. Let's see what the scripture got to say. I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I'm about to go to sleep. Oh. 
My girl, I love when she stay calm. Let's see what the scripture gotta say, though. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. 1 Corinthians 3, 16-17 Today, I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. Deuteronomy 30, 19. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Matthew 24, 13 Be not overly wicked, neither be a fool. Why should you die before your time? Ecclesiastes 7, 17 
getting sleepy. You're going to watch me die. What does the scripture say?
Love actually saved me that day. I am grateful for love. I still self-record, but of good things. Someone once posed a question to me. Walter, what would you say to someone that want to give up on life? And I responded, stop, don't do it. That's what I would say to someone that wants to give up on life. And I was screaming out just like that. Just don't do it. Once there was a woman that had a gun to her head. She was distraught, upset, and completely not herself. 
the interesting thing is that only a day ago, she was the opposite of those emotions. She was cheerful, happy, and upbeat. So what just made her put a gun to her head only one day later? Well, she got a call from a doctor stating that she was terminally ill. Immediately, she became sullen and uncertain. She pondered on that fatal forecast for hours before determining that she would make herself another statistic. The statistic of taking your own life. It is possible to do so, take your own life. But remember, for every 10 people that take their life, there are 100,000 people that do not. These 100,000 people just don't do it. They have issues, worries, terminal problems like everybody else, but they chose not to interfere with the natural process of life. They simply don't do it. When you choose to end your life, it's not like making a mistake that you can correct. It is a final choice. You can't right any wrongs. The ending your life is an eternal decision that should not be an option for you. Just don't do it. What is your situation? Or are you addicted to something? Are you abused? Are you behind with your bills? The person you love doesn't want to be with you? Are your, are your grades bad? Did a loved one pass away? I mean, is, is life just too hard? Whatever your situation is, whatever it is, just take it day by day because the situation will more than likely change. As long as you are alive, then you will have an opportunity to let the situation change. As long as you are alive, you can create apps for yourself. As long as you are alive, you can grow. As long as you are alive, you can help others avoid the situation that almost took you to a point of no return. Because make no mistakes about it, suicide is a point of no return. Just don't do it. That woman that I spoke about earlier would have been glad to know that the doctor's office called her with someone else's results. But now she will never know because she made a hasty decision. Had she waited, had she not done it, she would have known that the results given to her were not meant for her. Had she waited just another day, the situation would have changed. So I say to you, just don't do it. Wait another day, week, month, another year. Just don't do it. I conclude by saying, live with your situation for now and create a better tomorrow, day by day. Seek help and control your own destiny by not ever taking your own life. Just don't do it. This is for all you big dreamers out there. It's simple. Keep it simple. Here we go. I'ma do big things. I'ma do great things. I'ma do everything, 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 everything greatly. I'ma do big things. I'ma do great things. I'ma do everything, 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 everything greatly. I'ma do big things. I'ma do great things. I'ma do everything, 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 everything greatly. I'ma do big things. I'ma do great things. I'ma do everything, 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 everything greatly. I'ma do big things. I'ma do great things. I'ma do everything, 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 everything greatly. Come on now, it's not hard. It's easy to say. 
Let's do it together. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. It's not hard to do. Let's do it together. Here we go. I'm going to do big things. I'm going to do great things. I'm going to do everything, 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 everything great, lad. I'ma do big things. I'ma do great things. I'ma do everything, 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 everything great, lad. I'ma do big things.